Hey guys, I am so bold to be starting this vlog this hideous, but we had an early start to the day. So what time is it? I feel like it's around um, 10 o'clock or something, but things that we did. So we got our car yesterday, which was gifted to us by my mother. Shout out to my mother. I don't think I'm spoiled. I just think I'm blessed. You feel me? So anyways, we had to go put gas in it this morning and get groceries. First trip out or whatever. You feel me? <laughs> Our car. Gifted to us by my mom. That's my like first time driving in Jamaica. We're running errands. It feels really good. I'm so out of breath, guys. The, like I'm 21 weeks I'm about to be um 22 weeks either tomorrow or in two days I don't know but carrying carrying my son around it's getting there okay so, but anyway so we did those two things I think I have a clip so I might insert it but I'm definitely going to give you a tour of our car it could be a separate video or I'll just show you guys real quick I really love it it's a 2015 Nissan Juke so yeah, we did those errands. We just got back home. Papa packed the cupboards. He's, I should show you guys how he packs. It is so OCD. It's like literally crazy. Um, but anyways, I stand my husband like, you go boo. He's very clean um, compared to me. Uh, yeah, this is a long intro and I didn't even get to the point of the vlog. Even though there doesn't have to be a point to the vlog. But today's a big day. I can't believe it. I'm looking at the timer and it's took me almost two minutes to get to this point. Um, it's our anatomy scan day. Ooh, I might insert some cheering noises. Ooh, it'll be really awkward if I don't, but it's our anatomy scan. I'm so excited. I'm sweating. Oh my God. I get mustache sweat. I don't know if you guys do too. Comment below if you do. But so it's a big day. I don't know if I'll be able to record in there or anything, but I'm just going to take you along because I definitely want to remember this day. There goes Papa. I'm still out here looking crazy. It's like 11.30. I'm about to show you guys a daily routine that I do. I need to, sorry. For, I just washed my face. I need to get ready for my appointment soon. But I'm just going to eat these mangoes. So every day, I'm going to show you my bag. Hold on. I'm making it through my little laundry area i think i showed you guys the, my little backyard area in a vlog already but yeah i'm about to sit in my chair over here the sun is out okay let me see if i can put you guys right here so i have a, a big you see this is full of mangoes so i have a mango man if you live in the Bull Bay area and you need a mango man, you can really DM me or comment and I'll give you his number. But every day, I mean, a lot of these are, um, I'm going to have to wait for them to be ready. But I'm going to eat this one. I always come out here and enjoy some mangoes every day. Usually I eat a lot if I have them, but a lot of those do have to be ready. I'm feeling grimy, so I'm not about to really wash them off, you know. You just real, real Jamaican style. I already have a pile because I ate one before, but then I was like, let me show you guys. This one's a hairy one. The other one I just ate, I think it was East Indian. Hey guys, so we're on the way to our appointment. My brother in law's driving us. Um, I was in the back. I'm eating some carrots so I can give the baby fuel, you know. So yeah, we're just on our way and I'll show you um, when we get there. This is a new place and a new doctor because my doctor doesn't specialize in anatomy scans. So it'll be a new experience. So I'll have to just um, see how everything goes. Anyways, talk to you guys then. Okay, we're here guys. Um, hey, hopefully boy. we're in the right place. Uh, I know, I'm like three minutes late and I'm very nervous. I feel like I have to poop. Um, yeah, let's go. So let's go. Yeah, I think. 
Get better and better like, I identifying stuff. stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember seeing the first ultrasound ever before. I did not know what that was. Yeah, I was like, what's what? Okay. And like, you don't see the little bits, then? but now I fully see it. <laughs> it's like, it looks so different. I see every, every piece of it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. what we can do. Yeah, you grow a lot since the last scan. Mm -hmm. You can see the nose <laughs> and the lips now and. Uh, Everything defined. Okay guys, so we got out of the appointment and when I get home, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. But right now we're at the Sovereign Mall and we're hungry and we're gonna get some good food, which I'll show you too. I'll show you the inside as well. You need anything in here? We should buy mommy a keyboard. Okay, so this is our food court. And I'm gonna get a sample of everything from every place. I know. <laughs> Let's get something quick right there. I don't really know how to eat that. Um, little Tokyo, even though this looks good. Yo. For once, a little Tokyo line is not crazy though. Guys, the icing, it reminds me of how my um, sister-in-law, Livy, makes it. Like, it's whipped from this clouds. Okay, guys. Um, welcome back to the vlog. It's like almost 11 p.m. at night. I took a little nap, and I need to close out this. He's playing Fortnite. I need to close <laughs> out this vlog. And so I'm going to do that by talking about the appointment, like I promised. So I have my report. If I didn't preface before 
Where we went today was Musgrave Medical Center. I really liked it. I do, nice. yeah, the office was nice. It was very efficient, very nice. And the price point too. Now I've uniquely hopped around to a lot of doctors in this pregnancy. And I do wanna say, I still love my um, OB hair. Even though, yeah, I've only seen her once, but I'm gonna continue to go to her. But I just wanna say the experience here was still 10 out of 10. I really like the price point. My other doctor is more expensive. And not that doesn't have to be a secret because I think it helps other women in Jamaica. If you guys ever wanna ask me about um, prenatal appointments, the OB process, and um, different facilities. I can say in this pregnancy, like I could recommend and talk about a lot. Anyways, moving along. Oh yeah, and I wanna state this was Dr. Tiffany Grievous, if I didn't already, because I would really recommend her 10 times over. All right, so you guys seen um, some of the appointment. Honestly, that covered a lot of it because blessings from God it was just the baby's great he's always doing so great so the news and the look at him is always very fast um, he tends to be really good with ultrasounds and show everything that you need to he's a really active baby so we got us you know you can't record in the first half because of course with the um, appointment there's a possibility that you could get bad news that's what's the risk is in getting your anatomy scan the scary part but typically i can't know the percentage but you guys know i love to give information but they say that typically a pregnancy is really um boring and unproblematic um, and i can kind of see that like you know what i mean for the most part so i'm wishing every woman an amazing smooth and healthy anatomy scan and pregnancy when the time comes so anyways, we couldn't record in the first half because she has to just give us the clear. It'd be awful if we were recording all happy and there was possibly something wrong with the baby, but there wasn't. So anyways, yeah, she gave us time to video. She did try for a 3D scan, just like on her own. She was like, let me just try. But by then he wasn't cooperating, but it's fine because I, um, excuse me do know that when he gets bigger I want that anyways so it's like I didn't really care that much because he's gonna have way more defined features she even said she recommends it at 25 weeks so I'll go get that at 25 weeks it's so nice that she tried, but so nice that she that she tried and you don't if you're not pregnant or you haven't really been going to prenatal appointments yet you don't know how great that is because a lot of techs they work hard and they don't have to um, try that hard with you they just have to get their job done you know what i mean even though she's more than a tech guy she's an um obg yn and maybe more anywho let's just go over some of um baby's results he's such a sweet girl i love him more than anything in life itself i'm absolutely obsessed with him it's actually unfathomable so yeah so his bpd which is like gonna be the diameter and the size of his head is five centimeters around his head circumference is 19.34 centimeters his little belly the length around his belly is 17 11 17.11 centimeters um his brain growth is looking good oh and he is um the most important thing or interesting thing i think you guys would probably want to know is how much he weighs and he's 0 0.93 pounds so he's extremely on track because when a baby turns 22 weeks, they're supposed to be a pound. So he's basically almost there. And yeah, so that's basically what she said. He's just, he's extremely on track, like perfect for um, right where he's at. I am indeed 21 weeks. He's a like a day off on some things, um, four days ahead on some things. So, but it's right on track. His heart rate was 136 beats per minute and you can't use, don't ever use the heart rate for um, old wise tales. It's just not a thing. So yeah, his fetal lie is breached. You say it's matching or it's not matching? It is matching, because remember we were looking, they're, all, they're like girls are always 155, and then you can know it's a boy well, 130. Ours was fast for the longest time. Our, that's what I'm saying, you can't use, so you don't use mm -hmm. the heart rate. Because when um, we first had him, he was like 156 consistently. So I would have thought he was a girl going off that. You know what I mean? 
and his fetal lies breach but you know I'm four months away from the deed so hopefully he turns himself around um, at the right time I'm sure he's fine she would have said something if it was a big deal you know what I mean but oh and my placenta this part is so long this clip is like six minutes long and my placenta has moved to the back I've had my placenta in every single position in this pregnancy so don't fret this thing moves I'm hoping this is its final position I went from actually having placenta previa where it was covered over um, my cervix a low-lying placenta I had it to where it was covering my stomach so it moved to the side till it's actually in my back which is an optimal position for the baby to be born um only downside is sometimes it, you could um have a greater chance of preterm labor and also you know protecting your back in terms of making sure you're not squishing the blood supply for baby and maybe I'll, I'll experience more back pain but you know it's all good whenever the baby's healthy it's all good but thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this vlog slash coming to our anatomy scan it was a pretty big day for us important day that went really good so um, wishing everyone a blessed day and I will definitely see you guys in the next video love you very much and thank you for the support the likes the subscribes and yeah all the love. Bye.